everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is going to be a haul video. It is only my second haul of the year, which is crazy considering we are already in April. Honestly, I don't know where this year is going. It is literally flying by. But yeah, only my second haul video. And seeing as we are going into a new season, I mean, are we really in the UK? I'm not too sure. We have had some gorgeous, gorgeous, like sunshine filled days, but equally we have had some awful days. Like right now it's super gray outside. It's super cold. We are sort of going back in time. So, you know, hopefully spring is right around the corner and these things will come in use because I am definitely shopping for spring, summer right now. And I thought it would be a really good month just to share with you sort of new pieces that I'm buying for spring almost like a bit of an like wardrobe update I guess I feel like I don't know about you but I shop quite seasonally so I thought April would be a good time to show you some of my spring summer picks also there are a couple of things I want to mention before we get like properly into this video the first one is I apologize if I sound super like just snotty and blocked nosy and nasally I haven't been feeling like amazingly well recently um i think it's just the changing time like the clocks went forward and like the changing weather like sunshine one minute and now we've got like rain we've had hail we've had gray sky super cold so i feel like just all of these things have sort of caught up with me and i just have a really really like blocked nose at the moment and i'm not feeling a hundred percent and I can feel it when I talk, like I feel it's really annoying, I'm like running out of breath because I can't breathe through my nose as I speak. So yeah, I can hear it in my voice. I don't know if you'll hear it, but if that's really annoying, I do apologize. But I thought I would just muster up the courage, put on some makeup and just try and give filming this video a go. So I hope you do appreciate my effort. But yeah, I thought I would mention that. And the second thing I wanted to mention was we are in a bit of a different setup. I tried to change things up a little bit. I just thought this could potentially be a little bit better for hauls so that you could actually see what I'm wearing properly when it gets to the try on sections and stuff. But um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoy this or if you just preferred it how it was before. Usually I film everything like sitting on my bed and that's the sort of setup I've got. And then when I try on, I try on everything like jumping up and down on my bed. So it gets a little bit tedious for me. And also I just don't know if you see everything as well as you potentially could. So yeah, I'm trying something new, um, maybe just for this video, maybe throughout the whole month, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you enjoy seeing videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. If you're not too keen on it, like, you know, if you have anything to say, then do let me know. I'd really appreciate your feedback. Today's haul is actually a Topshop haul. I did a Topshop online order because I'm such an online shopper. And I also popped into store. So I have like a mix of things to show you. So in store, I actually went to um, the Oxford Circus store, which is massive. And they have a huge jeans section as well. And I thought I would try on some of their denim. They have a couple of new styles and I tried on quite a few. I did a little like recap in my stories as well um, over on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram then do follow me there to see like little updates and shopping sprees and things like that so do follow me there if you'd like to see more from me but uh yeah I popped into the Oxford Circus store tried on a lot of their jeans new jean styles some denim styles that I'd never tried before I just wanted to like basically try something new and I ended up coming out with one pair of jeans now these are like a beige I hate saying beige, I feel like it sounds like such a boring colour, but like a cream, a creamy beige colour, I guess. And I loved these. These are in the straight leg style, which I had never tried from Topshop. Very excited to try. I would have bought them in like a blue denim colour, but I have so much blue denim already. I thought it'd be nice to buy something a little bit different, but I absolutely love the fit on these kind of based on first impressions because I have only tried them on in the changing rooms and that was about it but I did fall in love with them I'm excited to see how they wear to see whether I get like ruched knees like you know they start going baggy around the knees to see whether that happens or not and depending on that I might go ahead and pick up more colors because I really did like these uh this particular style is obviously the like creamy color and we've got black like black matte hardware hardware yeah like buttons and like these little things stitching as well is black and I just really really loved that I don't know if you've seen my favorite white jeans from Topshop but they also have they're basically like an off-white color and they have like a cream stitching and I'm really loving contrast stitching at the moment I think it's so cute so yeah these are the ones I picked up these are a waist 25 length 32 waist 25 is what I usually go for so 
nothing to say there. Length 32 is slightly longer than I usually go for. I say, generally speaking, I go for a length 30 to give me like a bit of a cropped leg, but I think even with a length 32, these are quite cropped. And they're also frayed at the bottom, which I absolutely love. I feel like I haven't had frayed jeans or just any sort of different type of jean in a while. So I'm really very excited that these are frayed. And price-wise, these were 40 pounds, which I feel like is fairly, fairly decent for Topshop. And next up, we have my online order. So I didn't do too big of a shop in store. I knew I had some online shopping wait for me at home, so I tried to be good. So I've just spent like the past 15 minutes opening up all of the bags from my online order. And I bought so much. Like I'm starting to worry about just how much I spent on this shop because there are a lot of pieces here. But anyway, I'm gonna start off with something that is conveniently on a hanger. This is a like, Gingham check blazer monochrome love it's actually a different fabric to what I expected like it looks different to what I expected I thought it would be like your typical blazer sort of material but this is I don't know it almost feels like it should be elastic or something like it's very ruched I really I don't know if you can see this on camera but it's definitely a different fabric to what I expected not necessarily a bad thing just not what I expected, but it looks like it would be a semi like long line blazer, which I quite like. Again, we've got like matte black buttons, which I'm really, really into at the moment, actually. I got this in a size eight and it was 49 pounds. So I also got the matching skirt. Now the blazer was actually paired online with this skirt and it also comes with a pair of matching trousers as well. I actually think it would be really cool to get like all three of them to have the trio because I mean, the outfit possibilities are endless. Like you could just wear the blazer with so many things on its own. You could wear the skirt with so many things on its own. And then if you are into printed trousers, you could wear the trousers with so many things. So I thought it was great. I didn't buy the trousers though. I decided to buy the skirt instead because I don't have any suits that have a skirt and like a matching skirt set. Or no, I might've had a couple in the spring, summer. They might be in storage. This is the thing. Like I really want to do my wardrobe switch over, but I'm waiting to like, haul a couple of things and see what's new and also just like get better weather. But yeah, I picked up the matching skirt, super cute. I got this in a size six because generally speaking, I size down with anything that I want to be high waisted uh, because the smallest part of my body is my waist. So generally speaking, I size down and this was 32 pounds. Another skirt I picked up, I have seen a lot on Instagram recently. It's longer than I thought it would be, which is why I'm looking at it kind of funny. I'm wondering if I picked it up in tall or something maybe, but doesn't look like it, but it looks a little bit, definitely longer than I expected it to be. But it's this gorgeous, like it almost feels like satiny, which I love. And it's a really pretty print. It's sort of like just random spotty. And I like that. It's a gorgeous red color. Again, I got this in a size six and it was 22 pounds. This next one was definitely wishful thinking on my behalf because it is not weather to be wearing things like this. But how beautiful is this? If you have an upcoming summer trip or a summer holiday, then I feel like this is absolutely perfect. They have this in loads of colors. They have it just in like plain colors, but they also have this gorgeous like daisy, I wanna say it's daisy, like floral print version two. They have it in this like rust orange color and they also have it in black and white as well. But I decided to go for the orange because I thought it was super, super cute. This reminds me so much of a Reformation kind of print that I've seen at the moment. I don't know if it's new season, but I think it might be. And I thought this was such a gorgeous little dupe for that. This reminds me so much of the skater dresses Topshop used to do when I was a teenager and I had loads of them. I just, oh, I love this. I think it's so cute. We've also got, I don't really know what you'd call these things, but sort of like little resin round things <laughs> and I feel like it's cute I think with some like resin style clips in your hair as well it would look so cute I picked this up in a size six and it was 22 pounds and I knew I picked up more denim in my online order so these ones I don't think I'm going to like because I did try on this style in store and I just don't think it's for me so they are the Topshop editor jeans which are really quite popular so many people love them so I thought I would go ahead and pick up a pair for myself to try these don't say the kind of wash but I will leave the wash and stuff linked down below for you so um, I just got a blue blue denim. They look quite washed on the leg though. Um, hardware is normal. This is new, I think. This on the Topshop jeans. I don't know if any of my other Topshop jeans have that. Maybe it's just like an editor style thing. Uh, and when we come to the bottom, these are normal hem, but I do believe you can get these in ripped hem as well. And I think, yes, these are button up as well, which 
I feel like women's jeans generally aren't button up, they're usually zip ups, but these are button up, but they are concealed, so you don't actually see them. Now, a bit of a spoiler because I did try these on in store. Like, the reason I'm not sure the editor is for me is because the bottom, it doesn't look it here, but on me, at least the one I tried on in the Topshop store was like this. When I put them on, they ended up being a bit of a kick flare, like sort of going out. And because they're cropped, I feel like it just looked a little bit funny. So I wasn't like too keen on that. And um, also, they're £49, which I think is definitely pricey and more pricey than Top Shop, Top Shop's usual denim. Like, I don't know if any of Top Shop's denim is still £38, but I remember when it used to be £38. But I think they're around £40 to £42. And these ones are £49, like verging on £50, which I think is a lot for, like, Top Shop jeans. Um, so yeah, that's also putting me off slightly. But anyway, I'll try these on anyway. I got them in a waist 25 and at length 32. And I can't remember if I've mentioned them in this video or not, but if I haven't, I mean, I'm sure I've mentioned them in other videos. My Topshop white jeans, the mum jeans, I absolutely adore. So I picked up a new pair. Not mum style though. These are another straight leg, actually. I didn't know about that. Um, so these are a off-white straight leg pair. Again, waist 25, leg 32 but they are different. They're different because they're white, different to the cream pair I showed you first, that's what I'm comparing them to, and because they're buttoned down, which I quite like. I like that these buttons are exposed buttons. I kind of feel like when they're covered up, like just for ease, I'd much rather have a zip than buttons, but I quite like that this is just a little bit different, I guess. Um, again, we've got the like nude stitching, which I really, really love, like the contrast between them, and the hems are ripped. Oh, I didn't even realize, frayed hems as well, which I love, which makes them really quite different to my other white jeans actually my mum ones but yeah I, I'm just so obsessed with the mum jeans that I'm not even mad about buying another pair of white jeans and I feel like Topshop do white jeans well off-white off-white jeans really well sometimes I think like the like optic white is a bit too much like a bit a bit excessive like mm. um but these I think are perfect and I'm still going. I wonder whether Topshop had like a 20% off code when I bought or something maybe, because there was a lot in this haul and I don't think I spent like that much. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. So I also picked up this little top, which mm, I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about it. This I got in a size eight and it was 12 pounds. So quite inexpensive to be fair. We've got this, um, like the resin little details again, which is quite cute. Like maybe that's a thing. Um, and yeah, I thought it was, I thought it would be just a nice one to like layer with pieces, but to me, it actually looks a little bit cropped. Like on me, I do think this would be cropped. I think it would like maybe just skim over my hips, which might not be the most flattering, so I'll have to try that on. This next piece looks tiny. Look at this. Oh my God. So this is Lycra, which I imagine is why it looks so small. I got this in a size eight and it was 10 pounds. I thought it'd be a really nice piece to just like layer under things, um, because I quite like the like lace effect. But yeah, this looks really tiny, so I'm not too sure. I'll have to try that on and see. And lastly, probably one of the things I'm super excited about are some faux leather shorts. I have been so desperate to find a pair of faux leather shorts so that I can wear like all black outfits with like my faux leather shorts and potentially like ankle boots like going into spring and then even for like nights out well not that I go on many nights out but if I have like a fancy-ish dinner to go to or something like that that I can wear my like faux leather shorts with like an all black outfit and maybe like some strappy heels and it look really cool or even with like sliders and stuff I don't know I just really wanted some faux leather shorts so I spotted these picked them up they've got this like quite oversized and exaggerated belt but absolutely fine they look like they won't be too short which is good and they look like they'll be really really cinched in around the waist which is perfect so I got these in a size six and they were 32 pounds and so there we have it. That's everything I picked up from Topshop. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think I should keep and what you think I should return. Obviously, this is a trial haul video. I'm not going to keep absolutely everything. So I'm just going to try on things and hopefully we can decide together what I should keep and what maybe doesn't look so great so I can return. Let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed watching. As I mentioned at the start of this video on Thursdays, I will be uploading haul videos. So if you have any requests of places for me to have a bit of a shop at and do a haul video for, then 
do let me know. I would just, you know, I love doing things that you guys want to see. So do let me know if you have any requests and I will do my best to fulfill them. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to let me know as well what you think of this setup, whether you like it or you think I should go back to the old setup. This would just be for haul videos, like not for all my videos because it's too long to set up, but just for haul videos, I might think about doing this. So do let me know what you think. Let me know which brand you would like to see me do a haul from next. And let me know what I should keep and return. Basically, just write me the longest comment ever because there are so many questions. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel as well. I would absolutely love to have you on board. And don't forget, Thursday videos are going to be haul videos. Sunday videos are something a little bit different, so do check back to see that as well. And I will see you all on Sunday with a new video. A big thank you for watching as always, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.